A lot of people were inconvenienced today. Perhaps you were one of them because of what happened to a tractor trailer at the Roanoke Venton line. The truck got stuck. It was trying to travel under a train trestle and it took hours to pull it out. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons explains why the incident didn't surprise police. This train trestle on Wise Avenue Southeast travels the border of Roanoke and Vinton. And Vinton Police Sergeant Scott Hurt says it's not unusual to see a truck get stuck underneath it. We normally have incidents with trucks uh, hitting that trestle every, every few months, probably every three to four months, I would estimate. It happened again Friday morning, this time on the Roanoke side of the bridge. The self-proclaimed Metro trailer met its match as the bridge tore the roof off of the truck. Roanoke police gave the driver a $60 ticket for the crash, and Vinton police say this is just another notch in the long list of crashes at that trestle. Have you lost count of that many times? These <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't give you a number of accidents that we've had there since I've been working here. It's happened so often, the clearance height on the bridge is unreadable due to all of the crashes. However, signs showing the 11 foot 3 inch clearance are on both sides of the trestle. Roanoke sign is surrounded by amber lights, while Vinton has two signs within 500 feet of each other. Typically, the issues we have are with people who don't or aren't familiar with the height there at that train trestle. They don't routinely travel that route, moving trucks, things like that. Crews were finally able to tow the sheared semi truck away after seven hours of hard work and Hurt hopes other drivers take a look at the signs before trying to cross the tracks. If you're going to travel that route in a truck, you need to make sure that you're going to be able to fit underneath that trestle. In Roanoke, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you.